Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Jazz Hands. And uh, today uh, today we're going to be doing the unboxings. I know unboxing videos are very popular on YouTube. I've never done one before. I thought I would try to do it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the way that they put Barbies in these cases now. And uh, also, it took a long time to get mine because I do like to get free shipping. But I live all the way on the West Coast, so people on the East Coast will usually get this way before me. And... I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> anyway, I got the doll, so let's take a look and see what we have on it, and then I'll try taking her out for your viewing pleasure. We got Barbie uh, in a nice black and white photo of her Busy Gal outfit, which came out in 1960. This is a Barbie signature Busy Gal vintage reproduction. Back of the box. The year was 1960, and a bright young fashion designer emerged to take on the big city in her exciting new career. This reproduction of Busy Gal Barbie doll is dressed in her red suit worn over a crisp pinstripe blouse bodysuit. Finishing touches replicated from the original style include a smart navy blue woven hat, woven belt, open toe heels, and a black cat eye frame glasses. No retro detail has been overlooked. The she wears golden hoop earrings, blue eyeshadow, and bright red fingernail and toe polish tucked in her portfolio or two fashion sketches. No more than 20,000 worldwide, and then blah, 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 whatever that means. Along with some silhouettes of famous ba Barbie fashions, I see the gay Parisienne, two ballerinas, uh, whatever that one is. Probably wearing her bathing suit in that one. But yeah, so uh, this is actually one of my favorite outfits. Uh, I like the red color. Um, they did a reproduction of this previously in 1994, so she, I have, I have that particular outfit, not the particular doll. Um, one of the reasons I'm excited about this outfit is that it does come with a number one brunette Barbie, which is going to be useful for the finishing videos because I've been waiting to do a couple of them because I wanted to put them in a brunette doll. And yeah, the best number one reproduction they ever did was the 2009 Wedding Day set, which included a brunette Barbie and a brunette Ken. If you can get that one, that has by far the best number one production. I don't know, something about it, the face was perfect, the hair was like really high up, unlike this one. It just looked like a number one doll really well. So uh, here she is, uh, she's got, she looks gorgeous for starters, the outfit looks very accurate compared to the original. Everything is hooked on quite a bit, so it's going to be a challenge to get her out, which is part of the reason why I didn't really, I don't, I've never really understood the appeal of these videos, but if this is what the people want, we can make it happen. Let's start by cutting her feet loose, and I guess we should take her out of the pink box. Comes with a certificate, certifying the authenticity of it, which is great, I guess. I never, I never save these. I don't really care about them personally. I care more about the fashion itself and the doll. Getting it loose. Using it to display things. We'll do cut this one. I have no idea what it's for, but let's cut it. Maybe not. Uh, in the meantime, while I work on this, I purchased uh, Dressing Barbie, the new Carol... Last name I forget. Uh, I got her new book today it's really interesting if you like learning about like how barbie came about and the way she uh i may end up having to take my gloves off for this too i hate taking off my gloves for videos because i just have so many cat scratches on them from my wonderful little cat and just like magic there she is appearing <laughs> there we go okay well i guess that was the front piece frontest piece that's done yeah, I'm going to have to take off my gloves for part of this because I don't want them getting all gummy from the tape. So, sorry, you have to see cat scratches and see my horrible hands. But, you know, greater good and all that. Try to get all this done. Hello, sweetheart. There's that. But, yeah, so uh, I plan to use this doll or add her to my regular rotation of fashions because I do not really have... I don't have a brunette ponytail. I personally prefer the blonde, but uh, the gay Parisienne outfit is the next one that I'm doing. The, I've got, I found a reproduction of that for a not ridiculously unbelievable price. So, uh, oh, and it's amazing. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to show that video. And then I'm going to do a retrospective on all of the uh, harder to get fashions afterwards because I sent an email to the Mattel designer asking, hey, why are those so rare? It's pretty interesting stuff. So we'll get to that. I'll get to that soon. Ripper out. There we go. It's got a stand. 
which is a number one stand rep replica. Puts her feet inside that. Oh, yeah. And there's the number one bane of current uh, collecting. Uh, the Those darn brackets right in the back of the head. And she's got three of them. How fun. Well, let's see if I can show you cutting them off. Can't even see what I'm doing because her head's so close to it. What I usually do is I just kind of snip them. I like that they use plastic on these so that you can't cut the hair accidentally, or almost not. But what I end up doing is I just snip these things off and then I shove the ending piece back in the doll like, thanks a lot, we are really glad you kept her head so secure. I mean, you're, are they worried it's gonna fly off in packaging or something? I think it's ridiculous having all, the, having all this here. Not sure why it is, but you know, this is the modern collecting thing. Come on. Well, dang, didn't get it all. Good heavens, look at all this. There's more underneath it too. <laughs> flying everywhere. Watch out, flying brackets from Barbie's head. Can we get this piece off now? Yeah, I think so. And kind of shove those in like so, maybe right in the head. Does this come off now? Nope, oh, still got a piece attached somewhere. Right there. Wow, how annoying. It's like it's. There we go. I think I got it that time. Make sure we can remove her hat. Nope, still can't. Oh my. It's sewn together, so that's not the issue. It's this little extra bracket that I can't seem to get a grasp on. And I don't want to cut the fashion itself, but it's kind of hard not to. There we go. Okay, there, so she's free. So uh, I got my video cut off yet again, so I'm redoing the last like 30 seconds of the video where I recap. Uh, again, this is a great doll. Uh, complete replica of the number one vintage brunette doll. Um, she, if you really need a replacement or you want to get a number one doll, this is a great option. All you have to do is kind of tease her hair up at the top to raise the forehead level up and she'll look quite a bit like a number one. And uh, if you can handle getting all these tags off and without breaking the fashion, the fashion is beautiful too and a very good replica. So I do recommend getting her. Um, I'm going to use her for some fashion modeling. Uh, here's my cat to come see what's going on. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> That's right. That's a Barbie, and she's just for you in your playhouse, isn't she? This is Cinnamon, my cat. She wanted to be in the video, it looks like. Aw, yes, look at you. You like Barbie, too? Yeah, you like to sit in her house while the lights are on and look around. <laughs> anyway, I do recommend getting this doll. She is beautiful, and she looks quite a bit like the actual thing, so... Uh, this is Jazz Hands. Stay tuned for my next video, and please give me a comment or like, subscribe. I try to do videos very frequently. My goal is to have a video at least once a day if I can get the fashions done or more. I am not opposed to doing more. So let me know what you want to see. Uh, thanks for coming, and see you the next video.